Sometimes in life, you don't want to be the one who stands out. Some people are okay with just being the extras in the story, but when you finally get the chance to showcase your own abilities, it causes you to want to keep improving. Kinoshita is one of the most underused characters throughout all of Haiku. He doesn't even play in an official game until Karasuno faces off against Tsubaki Hara, all the way at Nationals. But we see him in practice. We see just how much effort he's putting in as he works to perfect the jump floater just like Yamaguchi. Now. I'm not gonna lie, if I was the coach, I'd always choose Yamaguchi over Kinoshita any day of the week. However, the difference between me and Ukai is Ukai has more of a long-term mindset. He makes the call during the practice match to actually put in Kinoshita instead of Yamaguchi. Now at first glance, this might seem like just a waste and him just trying to build an individual, but as it goes on, it becomes much clearer what he's doing. This isn't just because he wants Kinoshita to improve, it's also because he wants to build a competitive nature within the team. Yamaguchi will now have to work even harder to make sure that Kinoshita doesn't catch up to him, which in the end will cause everyone in the team to be motivated to grow stronger together. Kinoshita may have weak nerves, but what he does learn to gain is a hunger to want to be the one who can score. The more his hunger grows, the more Karasuno does as a team. I believe that Kinoshita adds more to this team than he'll ever actually get credit for. Even if he's not the one to get the point, he's the one that drives everyone around him to push themselves to continue to be able to stand out on the court. That's why I believe personally, even when he's blending in, he's the reason the team begins standing out.